Right, let's now get into matters, politics, and the quest to unite the Mount Kenya region to chart one way forward in the next general election went a notch higher today with the formation of a new banner, the Mount Kenya Unity Forum. The forum comprising of NAC Kenya leader Martha Karua, TSP's Mwangi Kiyunjuri, Chama Chakazi's Moses Kuria, and several other political parties has also listed four priority areas that will be their main concern in the conversations towards and after the 2022 general election. But as Ibrahim Karanja now reports, there was a conspicuous absence of leaders from the Mount Kenya East region, despite assurances that more leaders were on their way to join this new formation. Okay, no, no, no. Eager to join their counterparts who have begun early campaigns in the presidential race, members of parliament are entering their final stretch in parliament with fresh proposals that are likely to influence the 2022 election polls. Top in the legislature entry will be the resolution of the controversial hike in fuel prices that has seen petrol prices hit an all-time high of 135 shillings per litre. Dagoreti North MP Simba Arati plans to move a motion seeking to suspend the implementation of the Finance Act 2018, the Tax Act 2018, the Tax Laws Amendment Act 2020, and the revised rates for exercise duty adjustment for inflation that has catapulted the prices of fuel in the economy. Arati's motion seeks to have the House adjourn and consider discussing the high fuel prices in the country. At the same time, the Constitutional Implementation Oversight Committee, CIOC, chaired by Indaragua lawmaker Jeremiah Kioni, will seek to introduce a proposed bill that aims at creating the position of the Prime Minister. Now, Deputy President,